Hello, I'm David Dotson, the CEO of the Dollywood Foundation, and welcome to our video to talk about our new data sharing policy. In late May of this year, there was a new law passed in the EU which applied new strict regulations about data security, privacy, and sharing. As a consequence, we need to apply these new standards to all of the countries where we operate. So today, we thought it would be helpful to take a few minutes to highlight the most important aspects of our new data sharing policy. So what I want to talk to you about now is the Dollywood Foundation's lawful basis for processing. So what that means is the explicit consent that parents give to us to handle their personally identifiable information specifically for themselves and their children. And it's really a key underpinning of the, the framework around which our data protection and data security is built. So it's important that the parents give us this explicit consent because it allows us to deliver Dolly Parton's imagination library to them. It also, we've added a clause in there that allows us to create data sets uh, so that we can research the impact of the imagination library. So you will see this new explicit consent language both on the online registration process and on the paper registration brochures. And it's really a key piece of our overall data protection and security uh, process. Hi, I'm Sam Roberts, the Director of Operations for the Dollywood Foundation. I wanted to review the policy for capturing data for the Imagination Library. From the affiliate's perspective, the only way to enter data uh, for the Imagination Library is by entering it into the book order system in which we provide. Capturing data on your own website or any other service outside of the book order system is not allowed. From the parent's perspective, the only ways to submit information is through imaginationlibrary.com through the embedded registration forms which we provide, or through an approved paper registration that includes the explicit consent language on the form. Paper registrations must be promptly entered and destroyed after 30 days. Capturing data in any other method is not allowed. The next section that I want to talk to you about is data storage. All copies of Imagination Library data must be carefully tracked to comply with the data retention timeline. All copies of personally identifiable information, such as child list, must be stored on a password-protected desktop, an encrypted password-protected laptop, or an encrypted external hard drive. Personally identifiable information, such as names, email addresses, and addresses, must never be uploaded to any third-party service. Data files, both electronic and paper, must remain secure throughout the duration of data storage. So next I want to talk to you about accessing data and using data in the book order system. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you always have your own username and password when logging into the system. You never want to share that username or password with anybody else. And if you have anybody else in your organization that needs to access the book order system, make sure they have their own username and password. If you leave your organization, don't leave your username and password behind for the next person that's coming in after you. Make sure you get in touch with us and they get their own uh, user information. Once inside the book order system, um, make sure that only registered users have access to the data. So you never want to give sensitive data outside of the book order system to anybody else that's not a registered user. There's one exception to that, and that's for the purposes of research. Uh, under those circumstances, the Dollywood Foundation will provide a research sharing agreement. Um, that, re that sharing agreement needs to be uh, completed in full before any data is downloaded and given to a third, third party researcher. As the data controller, the Dollywood Foundation is responsible at all times for the security and integrity of the data. And therefore, we need to, to be aware of and give permission for any time that that data is shared. One of the main frameworks of data security and data privacy is, is, is your awareness and making sure that at all times, whether accessing data within the book order system or you've downloaded the child list and the data is outside of the book order system, that that data is safe and secure and it never makes it into the hands 
uh, of the public or outside of your control. Um, lastly, you want to make sure that you never email a child list. It's something we see occasionally. You never want to attach a child list to an email and send it or load it up into any kind of third-party contact management software because now we've lost control of the security and privacy of the data. So again, at all times, make sure you think about what you're doing and keep the data safe and secure. So now we're going to turn our attention to the important topic of data retention. And there are several pieces to this. Number one is that you have access to the full registration record until the child turns five years of age. After that, you have access to the record for another 12 months, but the record will be minus the child's name and email address. After this 12-month period, the affiliate no longer has access to the record. However, the Dollywood Foundation will be able to maintain the full registration record for another five years until the child's 11th birthday. Obviously, the reason we are going to retain these records are for research purposes. At that point, all of the data after the 11th years old, all the data will be anonymized and kept until and unless they're needed for research or analysis. And finally, there are two other important items to keep in mind. One is that after 12 months, all child lists must be deleted. The second is that when a parent requests, and this is a new, a new area that we have to pay close attention to, requests that all of their data be deleted, it's really going to be a two-step process. On our end, we can delete them from the BOS, but it also require the affiliate to go back to all child lists where that name may appear and delete that child's name and all of their information. Um, we'll be in touch with you later in, uh, in terms of how this can happen, but we did want to take this time to alert you and give you the heads up on this very important step. So in closing, the purpose of this video is to make sure that you're aware of the policies and regulations around keeping personally identifiable information safe and secure at all times, that you understand the basis for lawful processing, which is consent, the parent's consent, to give us information and use their information. And we want to make you aware of data security at all points, whether it be in the capture, usage, storage, and disposal of information. The data needs to remain secure, uh, and an integrity needs to remain secure at all times. If you have any questions, we invite you to email us at dpo at imaginationlibrary.com. That's for our data protection officer. Again, it's dpo at imaginationlibrary.com. As always, thank you so much for partnering with us to bring Dolly Parton's Imagination Library to children in your community. Goodbye for now.